Oh, that's awesome! I can't move that. Loves a fish on. Oh my god! Yeah, baby! Yeah! An absolute giant. Alright, so I'm about to leave out, guys. I just wanted to show you the water clarity. This is a little piling here near a launch and just crystal clear water. So I'm about to launch the kayak and get to it. Hope to God we can uh, probably gig a couple of sheep's head here. Might be able to see a other, couple other cool things, maybe some black drums, some redfish, but main target is some sheep's head. I hope this goes well. I've got a nasty wind today. I think the wind is 16 miles an hour out of the east, so we'll see what kind of visibility you got. And you know, see what we can make happen. So you guys stick around, it should be a good one. There's an absolute giant sheep's head right there. Oh, got him. Oh, there's a big one. All right, the water's gonna cloud up kind of soon, but can you see that sheep's head? Look at him sitting right there. Is that not cool or what? So I'm just going along here, checking underneath all these, uh, these mangrove bushes. <clears throat> I'm noticing too that since the few trips that I've been out doing this, that a lot of the sheep's head are sticking more toward the dead wood. So those are the areas I'm really focusing on. That's a good size sheep's head. He's probably about a 14 or a 15, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to shoot this one. There he is. Got him. Oh. Yeah, I see him sticking out right. Oh, right there. See his head right in the dead center? He's looking straight at me. Oh, oh, that was a face shot. Yeah, I don't think he survived that one. Yeah, that was a stone shot. Good size one. Got that one. He's still wiggling, but I got him right in the head. That's a headshot for sure. There's a little pink mist inside of there. All right, let's get him out. Right there, there's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a giant back here, eight. Full limit of sheep's head, man. That's how you gotta do it. Just go out there and spear them, get a headlamp, nice spear, or maybe even a three prong. Get to it, man. This is definitely the way to go. Forget fishing for sheep's head or rod and reel unless you're trophy hunting. It's time for me to get back home. It's probably midnight, so I'm gonna call it a wrap. But I appreciate you guys for coming along. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the cause, man. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. And you guys tell me what you think. If you, any of you guys have even had a chance to go out and try something like this, comment down below, let me know, or even gigging for flounder, man. I just love picking up little tips and little tricks from everybody who does things a little bit different than the next person. So anyway, it's been a heck of a time. I appreciate the heck out of you guys as always. Tight lines, safe spearing, later.